So here we got a Audi A3 1900 diesel. I had some running issues, so booked it in to get the DPF. Um, as well, a solution on the DPF and EGR. But to get that DPF off, it was an absolute mission. So you've got to disconnect uh, the wishbones, the front subframe, the steering rack's got to get disconnected. Like the car was coming in for a new clutch flywheel, new dual mass flywheel. Um, all at the same time anyway and while i was in i thought i might as well do the you know the dpf it's had uh, stage two software applied but to get to that point it was an absolute mission so the fair amount of pipes you got to put out the way uh, i've just shown you a video here of uh, some of the fuel lines i pulled out i was showing um areas now where i'm actually starting to remove the gearbox But just further on down, at the very back there, you got your intake. It's like a boost pipe that runs up from the intercooler. There was loads of different plugs. Give me a little bit of jip, but yeah. And undo all your wiring looms, all your pipes, intake box. Underneath, like I say, steering rack. Uh, dry shafts were out because I was doing the gearbox. But uh, one of the dry shafts was actually stuck in the hub, so I just kind of left it hooked up there. But rack, front sub, um, the exhaust will come off there. I'd, I'd assume once upon a time in his life, it already had a, a new back box, hence why the cut was there. So when it came to putting it back together, it was just sleeved together with a 63 mil sleeve, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Plug could not undo, just left it there. I actually left the rack on the uh, on the jack, as you see it there. So that's the DPF off. Absolute mission. Next job was to cut it open, 